I love this tune. Anyway, <laughs> hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's finish this match, hopefully with style, hopefully with a technically perfect win. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. What I'm trying to do here is hit into the slope so that it stops it. Well, that didn't hit the slope, but my super backspin stopped it. All right, so. Neil's leaving me in an awkward position didn't matter much. I recovered just fine. And it looks like, oh, yeah, we're, we, we are probably going to get the birdie. Well, they are not, because Neil doesn't have to move the cursor at all for the putt. And, well, huh, that's not even good in itself. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, man, they bogeyed. I can't believe it. So we can two putt for the win. So even if Neil misses this, we've got it. And I don't think Neil's gonna miss this. No, it's just too easy of a putt. And oh, look at that, the cursor. <laughs> because I have to click in the windows. <laughs> uh, I'm never paying attention to that corner of the screen, really. Because all the stuff I do is just like reflex. But yeah, I really gotta keep that cursor off the screen. Or at least turn it. Oh shoot, Xbox D-pad, no, you betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> now, this might actually be fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, the uh, uh, I always gotta click in the window in order to make the window active like this. So yeah, that, that's that's why I leave the cursor there sometimes. Is I click in it, and I, I always think that I turn off the, the show the cursor in the FF split settings. But I keep forgetting that it's not off because I needed to touch to touch screen for other walkthroughs. So yeah, that's why it's not not off because I need to show the pointer for the Nintendo DS games and whatnot. Uh, so that I just haven't turned it off since then. Anyway, Neil, make that putt, get us a birdie, and the victory. Woof! There we go. Um, um. Well, maybe this match is gonna end a little bit quicker than I was thinking it was going to. Well, that'll just give us time for some side quests then, now, won't it? <laughs> That'll be okay then. Mm, looks good. 145 to the hole. I don't see Neil having issues with that shot. Although, you know, if he miss hits on the gauge, it's gonna gonna lead to some issues. That's that strike really truly is king. Like, you'll hear a lot of golf pros say that strike is the thing that is that you should be working on more than anything. I uh, gotta get the strike of the ball just the way that you want it to, because hit off the toe or heel, it's gonna go offline. Get that strike as good as you possibly can. Like, as I said, golf is not a per game of perfect. You'll never be perfect at it, but you can get pretty good at it. <laughs> just a matter of practice. Also, practice all sorts of different lies and stuff like that, so like bare ground lies and thick rough lies. Maybe copy lies, you know, whatever you can think of that's really bad and try and figure out how to get your wedge under it or whatever your club you're going to hit from whatever distance you're practicing from. And I'm not going to move the cursor on this shot at all. <laughs> but yeah, it's in terms of golf, gotta practice all the shots and we won! Perfect score! <laughs> Woo! Well, as perfect as we can get because, you know, there was those ties on the other holes and whatever. Um. <laughs> yeah, level up there, and a little bit more level ups here, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna make the shot higher. Yes, yes. And he is going to get straightened out, because all the other ones I can tell is gonna raise his uh, shot, I mean, uh, raise his draws size, so I, I kinda wanna keep it straight for the most part. New challenge! Gene and Kid, yup, we'll be playing against them soon. <laughs> it will be the match of the century, let me tell you. <laughs> no, you, you played better than any other. Well, kind of, I mean, we did kind of, we are at a loss with the other match, you know, in, behind the, Never mind, I won't tell them that. <laughs> no, but honestly, they did better, it's just that we were a whole lot more consistent than that we were before in the other match, so yeah. Oh, it's all right. You could always take it back in the future. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. 
<laughs> I, just, I don't see that happening. Uh, yep, that is the way to go, though. It's fun to have goals like that. Uh, got anything other else to say here? Uh, no, I guess you don't. All right. So what what is unlocked for us right now, side games wise? I still can't really do that. Did the klepto? Uh, oh yeah, the putting contests. I forgot all about those. Uh, what's going on over at the field here? Uh, I could do Lucky Country 3. Maybe I'll do Lucky Country 3 and the putting. Sounds good? Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, we gotta go... Oh, oh, nope, nope, that door isn't open. It's only open at the Marion Club. Overworld is this way! <laughs> uh, no wait, that's not... Yeah, this one is the club slots. Here we go, Lucky Country. Yes, I did! Club slots course 3. Here we go. Begin this way. <laughs> it is down the cactus pipe. And there's always a corresponding pipe right next to the course. Just walk right on there. It's not a tournament or anything like that. All right, now, as I said before, oops, shoot. I was going to say, you want to get clubs in all the slots, if at all possible. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how this goes here. It's like impact marker mode. And yeah, the wind's gonna carry a little bit. Oh no, Xbox D-pad! Why? I've really gotta get a better controller. Well, this is workable. All you need to do is make power, but still, still, it's making it harder than it needs to be. <laughs> okay, I got it. Got a birdie, so that means I am one ahead of the curve. Hole four, let's see what luck has in store for me. Three wood, four iron, nothing again, nothing again on the wedges. And the wedges are like one of the most important parts. Because you yeah, the, the precision. Xbox D-pad, come on now. Maybe it's because my arm and hand is in a wrong position for the parallel movement. Because sometimes it, it kind of pushes, like the weight of the my thumb pushes to one side or the other if I'm at the wrong angle. Uh, like finicky d-pads like that you want to be make it as lateral in your movement as you possibly can basically at least that's what i found uh, it, whatever you can figure out will work for you again as i say is the best way uh that should be just fine there we go super backspin control it very nicely because i had to use a lower uh trajectory and everything like that but I am okay. I'm two ahead of the curve now, so I can double bogey this. Driver, four iron, eight iron. That's not bad. Pretty balanced. And notice that those the clubs on the wheel are like you got long clubs, mid-range clubs, and then short-range clubs. That's the idea. That's why I want to fill up all the slots because I can, you know, I can alter their power. But I can't replace... Oh, I hit the cactus! <laughs> but I can't replace a missing club if I need a club for a certain shot. So that's that's the thing there. That's why I always want to get something in every slot, even at the risk of not getting three stars. You know, It's tempting to go for those three stars, but it, it just doesn't really work out that way. And if you have stars in the first two slots and you don't get one for the last slot, you're going to only have really short shots at your arsenal. And that's just not going to work well at all, so, yeah. Just want to get all the clubs set up for your game. And uh, I, mm, I have to use the driver here, and I don't like using driver for approaches. Uh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be short, and it's not going to make the green. No, nope, I didn't think so. Well, maybe I can chip it in, because the wind is right in my face. Well, actually, maybe it's a little bit... Uh, right to left for me. Uh, oh shoot! Um, I slipped on my button press. I pan. I panicked, and I just slapped my thumb down. I should just let the cursor reset itself. Well, as I said, I can still double bogey this, and it'll have victory. But no, I'm gonna par it. <laughs> victory is mine. Uh, Neil's getting a level up. Sure. And drive distance. Good. All right. And of course, you know, the Lynx Club has been added to the club slots, but I'm leaving that for later. Leaving that for later. And no, 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 this is the same dialogue, so I'm clicking through this and I'm saving that for later. And I'm also saving the go-go gates for later. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Yeah, the side quests are great for filling out parts, I gotta say. Like if you need to have a little extra 
to it, then where is the practice screen? I forgot where... Oh, here. Uh, wait, was it? Was this? No, this wasn't the practice screen. This was the, uh... Oh, no, yeah, it is a putting green, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Ten balls, seven or more near the cup for normal. So as long as I do so, we will be golden. Slightly downhill, then back uphill. Uh, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really finicky on the long putting, as this is pretty precise, because you got to be really close to that mark and, and or hit a little bit over when you are uh, going up the hill, because, it, because when you're hitting on the long putting, it really, really is long. It's, it's 200 feet in length, so, <laughs> so there's a lo uh, very small margin for error. Anyway, here we go. Oh shoot, that's not uh, not as hard as I wanted to hit it. Because I wanted to get it past the slopes and everything like that, and it, it didn't make it up there because I didn't... Yeah, eh, well. As long as I get 7 out of 10, we will be in heaven. Alright, three for four, and ain't that pretty far to the left, because of the side slope. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, now you notice that I'm not really making these putts. These aren't the kind of putts that you wouldn't really expect to make if you were in this position on the course. So don't don't worry about making the, the putts. In fact, that's exactly why this drill hits has you hit into a circle and not into the cup. Because hitting into the cup from this distance is kind of ludicrous. <laughs> it, like, it, if I wouldn't even be chipping from this distance if I was around the green. Uh, well, unless it's in doubles, I guess. Anyway, uh, it's on the middle putt there, so it's got a little bit more room for error. I should say I can use the middle putt there so I have more room for error. And, and, and. This looks like I've got the victory in the bag. Oh, the side slope screwed me up twice here. <laughs> I'm just not playing enough break. Anyway, more to the left on that one. Not enough to the left. <laughs> well, I beat the putting challenge anyway. It's not perfect, but it's complete. There we go. 75 experience points for that. All right, there we go. And now I got the... Uh, yup, yup, yup. And now I've got the extra hard putting challenge going on here, and yeah, I basically never three-putt or anything like that. Wait, hold on, on. did I get your dialogue when I finished the challenge? Okay, just basically the same. Just just had to see that, just to play it safe and whatnot. Alright, I'm gonna reset this, and then go back to the putting green, because that should unlock the long putt, because now I get uh, how this works here, and that the different difficulties have different... Wow, that's a really tiny circle. Yeah, the different difficulties have different... I mean, they, they're already unlocked. You just have to leave the area and come back. Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. Alright. Ah, uh, here's the side slope of Doom. Here we go. A little bit past the mark because it's uphill. And hope for the best. Get in the hole. Okay. Two for two. Okay, I've got... I think I've got the feel for this that huge side slope. Oh, that one's not hit hard enough. It, I might get away with it, though. Ah! Uh, oh, I did! Wow! Very nice. Okay, so I guess it was hard enough. Now, that side slope is really, really awkward. And that's really what I'm putting all my focus on, is that side slope. Not really any of the break, uh, like, where I start out on. Like, see, I'm over there, on the right side of the green. There really isn't much break to impact it when the ball's going so fast past it. So, I'm not really paying much attention to that portion of the green. I'm just focused more on this large side slope. Ah, not quite. It's a little too short. Uh, this one I've got to hit at max. Ah, that's not enough, I think. Well, no, not enough. Well, I still have a chance. Still have a chance. Ooh, massive side slope. Alright, get it to the hole. That side slope. Oh, that's looking very nice. Okay. okay. We're back on track. <laughs> and, 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 and. This massive side slope. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, shoot! <clears throat> I hit B button to cancel, but. Ah, now I gotta get the other two putts to win this. Well, well, it's possible. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Because I'm already eight putts into it, so I might as well. 
<laughs> oh, that was just a total brain fart on that last putt that I had. Okay, and you better get in that circle, you stinker. I did it! Just barely! Alright, I got it. That side quest is complete. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's a lot of a lot of pressure pots. Because hitting that many in that circle of that smallness is it's definitely something. And so story status. We got all of them complete at the Marion Club, except the shot contest higher because I don't have the drive distance yet. Uh, all at the Palms Club is complete. All at Dunes Club is complete. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part. And again, don't forget to save.